Um, well, this piece is mainly made out of electronic waste, e-waste. Um, I'm very I, I enjoy taking apart old technology, um, seeing what's inside, and I collect the pieces that, that I find. And so that is that, that, that's what makes this up. Um, so my starting point, this is called um, Forensic Reconstruction 002376. Um, and my starting point really was the idea that, you know, we're producing all of this sort of detritus from our phones, our computers and things like that. Now, I was imagining a situation where people from the far distant future or aliens or something actually found all this stuff and they were using it to try to make sense of us or understand, um, understand our world and our, our lifestyle. As it, it's, it, there's an interesting sort of disconnect um, um, between, you know, you've got the sort of hardware, which is, is so important, but there's almost like a sort of mind-spirit disconnect between the hardware for all these things and then the actual information that, that, it, that is conveyed. So we're very interested in the sort of um, intersection between those two things. So I had all of this, all this tech, um, all this e-junk, um, and I started to really put it together. It, for me, it was like a drawing process. I, I'm, I'm very interested in drawing, um, where the sort of wires become lines and the, um, you know, it's about lines and colours and shapes and how they relate together. Um, but also, as I started to put the pieces together, um, they assumed a kind of narrative of their own. So there's lots of, lots of little narratives going on through here, some which, you know, which I thought of and which other people have sort of seen. So we've got this sort of... Um, guy over there standing on that, um, what's actually a heat sink. Um, he's, like a, he's almost like a kind of monument to sort of, it's very Victorian, like a sort of monument to human um, engineering striving. Um, and then you've got the sort of, it, it becomes almost like, I don't know, like a sort of map of the human body or some sort of topology. I think, you know, that's almost like a nervous center. Those are, are, are like lungs, perhaps. Um, or we've got sort of other stuff going on where these, these things, I was thinking they're like a kind of sort of swarm of, I don't know, some sort of alien being sort of controlled by that piece and they're invading that, that hive. But it, it's really, um, it, it's just a way of sort of pulling together all of, all of these narratives. Um, and the other interest, the thing that I really um, enjoy about putting this together or enjoyed about it in this sort of low light is the way that the um, shadows came from sort of working in this and started to play a really important part um, in the whole piece of work. So they sort of, you can see them around here, they've created sort of extra lines and extra textures and sort of softer lines. And, and they, so that, that was um, a sort of interesting discovery because um, like my process is very, um, it's in response to the environment. You know, I came along with a box of e-junk and thought, okay, let's find some tables and some plinths and these happen to be what I found. Um, and then it was all created sort of directly in response to the sort of objects that I had around me. I didn't really know how it was going to work out when I, I started doing it, which is, um, you know, it, it's quite an exciting way to work, um, a little bit unnerving, but um, it sort of leads you open to the possibilities of making all sorts of interesting discoveries while you're doing it. So in, in the end, I chose London Met, um, I guess because it was, it, it seemed uniquely, um, it offered me studio space. None of the other central London colleges I could see did that, not as a part-time MA. Um, I, I love the location, that seemed fun. Um, when, I w when I went along to see it for the open day, um, it just seemed like a, um, a very sort of um, supportive and um, just a fun environment, a fun place to be in. I found the, the, the tutors to be kind of very, very generous in their sort of time and attention um, and the, the environment to be, you know, to be really quite supportive. Um, yeah, so it was just a very, it, it felt like a good place to be.